Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Matlock J. In this channel, we will discuss some problem related to mathematics and logics. Right? So the today's problem is goes like this. In this diagram, you can see a right circular cone-shaped mountain. Right? The question is if you build a shortest distance track for a sightseeing train around the mountain in which the track starts at a point A and at, at a point B, the track will first go uphill but then it will go downhill. What is the length of this downhill track? The four options are given and you can see the diagram and all data are written in that diagram. Right? So if you want to give a try, then pause the video and try to do it yourself. And when you want to get the solution, then go ahead. So friend, to understand the problem better, you have to unwrap this cone. So first of all, let me imagine this is the given cone. Okay, now we cut this cone and unwrap it. It looks like this after unwrapping. Now, if you can observe that every point lying on the base circumference of the cone is at same distance from the vertex of the cone so when you unwrap it it will become a circular arc circular segment right because every point on this arc is at same distance from the vertex which is now become center of the circle so when you unwrap it it will become a circular segment right and the radius of the circular segment is the slant height of this cone which is equal to 60 and the, all the other data look like this in this situation consider the location of point a and point b in this unwrapped cone right to find the shortest path between a and b we just join a and b by a straight line Okay, the length of this line segment is the shortest path between them. Now, how can we find this length? So, just observe the triangle formed by point A, B and the vertex of the cone. Right? The one side of this triangle is 60. The point B lies at a distance 10 from the circular arc. So, the distance of point B from the vertex of the cone is 50. Now, we know two sides, 50 and 60 of this triangle and want to find the third side that's why we require at least one angle of this triangle right so let me focus on the angle at vertex of the cone okay so in this unwrapped diagram the circular arc is basically the circumference of the cone right so we can calculate it so we have the length of circular arc and the radius of this circular part so we can easily calculate the angle theta by using the formula c equal to r theta and it goes like this and finally we got theta equals to 2 pi by 3 right now by using the cosine rule i hope you all remember the cosine rule we have two sides 60 and 50 of a triangle and angle between them so to find the third side we will use cosine rule and the pro and the calculation goes like this and hence we get the value of path ab so this is the length of path of that so that's not all over we have to find the length of the track which is downhill right now when the track go uphill right when the <coughs> so when the train go uphill it is going closer to the vertex and when it go downhill it is going far from the vertex right and we also know that in this situation train move on path a b so if i draw a perpendicular from cons vertex to this line a b then this point p represent the point which is at shortest distance from cones vertex right so when then start from a to p it will move close to the cones vertex or you can say this part of the track is uphill and when train move from p to b it moves far away from cones vertex so this part of the track represent downhill track right 
सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेंथ पी बी सो लेट वी टेक दिस लेंथ इज एक्स इफ पी बी इज एक्स देन ए पी विल बी टेन रूट नाइन्टी वन माइनस एक्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड ए बी एज टेन रूट नाइन्टी वन सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द डायग्राम देन यू कैन सी टू ट्राइंगल नाउ इन साइड द बिग ट्राइंगल वी कैन सी द टू ट्राइंगल नाउ एंड दीज टू आर राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल which have one side common right and we know the dimension of remaining two side of these triangles so use pythagoras theorem right to find the side which join p to the cons vertex in first triangle we will get this side length is equal to under root of 50 square minus x square right in the second triangle we will get the length of this side is under root of 60 square minus square of 10 root 91 minus x now both these values represent the same length so let me equate them to each other and now solve this to find the value of x so finally hence we get the value of x which is 400 divided by root 91 so how do you like it tell me in the comment section i will wait for your comment and please like share and subscribe this channel